All right, friends, I am back here with opinion writing day four. Okay, so take out your opinion writing packet. Okay, we are going past that opinion writing practice. We're going past the travel agent project page. We're even going to go past this pre-writing page because we are moving on to drafting. Okay, so this might be another area where you might need your book that you might have been looking in, okay, or maybe having to go to kittle.co to do some more research, okay, but we're going to go ahead and put together our draft, okay? Once we finish filling out this graphic organizer, we are then going to go ahead and write it, okay? So in, in, uh, in your opinion, okay, so we're going to do Oreo, okay, we're going to have an opinion, reason one, examples, reason two, examples, and then your opinion again, okay, um, so I'm going to look through here and see if I can come up with a good hook for my draft. Let's see, they have pancakes. Hmm. Let's see. So I'm going to say, have you ever, heard of a hotel made entirely of ice? Oops. Have you ever heard of a hotel made of entirely ice? Have you ever heard of a hotel made entirely of ice? Or do you crave a yummy pancake? Because they, it looks like they have plenty of pancakes in Sweden, okay? So, or do you crave yummy pancakes? Have you ever heard of a hotel made entirely of ice? Or do you crave yummy pancakes? I'm gonna say Sweden has it all. Sweden has it all. And I've run out of room in my graphic organizer, but that's okay, I'm just gonna write down the side. Okay, so the question asks, where should Miss O and Mr. J travel for their honeymoon? Okay, so I'm gonna put in my opinion, Mr. and Mrs. I'm going to put J because we'll be married soon. Mr. and Mrs. J should travel to Sweden for their honeymoon. Remember, we're trying to persuade them. Okay, so I think, Miss, in my opinion, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson should travel to Sweden for their honeymoon. Okay, so that is my opinion. I stated it, okay, it's not, it's not lovely, okay? It's kind of messy, it's running down the page, that is okay. Okay, so reason number one, why would they like to travel there? Okay, I looked back in my book, okay, in that lovely book that I read, okay? Um, I think that reason number one, okay, is would, I think they would like the green forests, so I'm gonna put green forests, and tall mountains. Okay, because that's what it said in our book, my Sweden book here. Okay, it said, ah, oh, look at that picture. Okay, it said there are deep forests, green fields, tall mountains. Okay, so I think that's one of the reasons that they would travel there. Okay, so it says examples. Okay, um, so because I know that Mr. and Mrs. J Okay, they like to be outside because they like to be outside. Okay, and I'm going to put because nature is peaceful. Ah, nature is peaceful, right? Okay, so that's my, re that's my reason number one and those are my examples. Okay, now reason number two... I'm gonna look back in my book. 
Let me get to where it says this. Ah, here we go. The cats. Okay, cats live both indoors and outdoors. There's one million. Okay, there are tons of cats in Sweden. Okay, so I'm going to put reason number two. Okay, um, why would they like to travel there? Tons of cats. Okay, love cats. Okay, because, okay, Mr. and Mrs. J. Love cats. Okay, and let's see, because there's one million cats. Because there's one million. That's a lot of cats. Okay, so we have our opinion. We have our reason number one. We have our examples. We have our reason number two. Okay, and we have our examples for that one as well. Okay, now one more time, I'm going to restate my opinion. Okay, so I'm going to put there are lots There are lots of reasons to visit Sweden. Okay, there are lots of reasons to visit Sweden. But the nature and cats are the main reasons Mr. and Mrs. J should honeymoon there. Yep, okay. So our drafting, our graphic organizer is done. Okay, so now we're gonna take some time to put this into a rough draft. Okay, so if you take over, take a look over here, okay, it says our rough draft, use complete sentence, sentences. Please take your information from your graphic organizer and put it into your rough draft. Okay, so I'm gonna take some time to do this. Okay, and then we will move on to the next step. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna start out by saying, and remember this is just your draft, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Have you ever heard of a hotel made entirely of ice? Or do you crave yummy pancakes? Keep in mind, I'm doing this in pencil, so just in case I have to erase, I definitely can. Or do you crave yummy pancakes? Oops. I'm going to put Sweden has it all. Sweden has it all. I'm going to put in my opinion. Mr. J and Miss. I'm going to, I guess I'll put Miss Olsen because we're not married just yet. Miss, whatever you want to put. You can put Mr. and Mrs. J. You can put Mr. J and Miss Olsen. Whatever you want. Mr. J and Miss Olsen should travel to Sweden. For their honeymoon. All right. Whoops. I didn't want to put a question mark there. I'm going to put an exclamation point there. Okay. Have you ever heard of a hotel made entirely of ice? Or do you crave yummy pancakes? Sweden has it all. In my opinion, Mr. J and Miss Olsen should travel to Sweden for their honeymoon. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about my reasons. Okay, so I'm gonna start by saying, I'm gonna use one of those sentence starters. The first reason is 
the beautiful green forests and tall mountains. Okay, so that's my reason number one. Okay, so I've taken care of that. Now I'm gonna write my examples. Okay, so I know they like to be outside and I know nature is peaceful. Okay, so I'm gonna say the first reason is the beautiful green forests and tall mountains. I know Miss Olson and Mr. J like to be outside and because nature is peaceful. Okay, and who doesn't need some peace and quiet every once in a while? Okay, so I took care of both of my reasons there, and, or my reason number one, and I took care of my example there. Okay, if you want to just cross that off, okay, after you've already taken care of it, you definitely can. Okay, so reason number two is there are tons of cats. Okay, so I'm going to put the first reason. Okay, so I'm going to put the second reason. They should go. is all the cats. Woo! Okay, is all the cats. Okay, so I put my reason number one, or I'm sorry, my reason number two, there are tons of cats, okay? And then my examples. Mr. and Mrs. J love cats, and because there are one million. Okay, so I'm gonna put, the second reason they should go to Sweden is all the cats. Okay, now I'm gonna explain it. Okay, I'm gonna put my examples. I know that Mr. J and Miss O love cats. That's a true fact. There are over, whoops, one million cats in Sweden. There are over one million cats in Sweden. They would love it. Whew, there we go. All right, so now I'm missing my last step here. Okay, my last step is to restate my opinion. Okay, so I already wrote, there are lots of reasons to visit Sweden, but the nature and cats are the main reasons Mr. and Mrs. J should go there on their honeymoon. Okay, so I'm gonna finish it off by saying, there are lots of reasons to go to Sweden. There are lots of reasons to go to Sweden, but the nature and cats are the main reasons are the main reasons Mr. and Miss, Mr. J and Miss O oops, are the main reasons Mr. J and Miss O should go there on their honeymoon. Ah, oh, love it. All right, guys. So there is my draft. Okay, um, we went ahead and filled out that graphic organizer. We also wrote it out. Okay, and our next step tomorrow is going to be to revise.